Most 3D printers out there utilize one nozzle, which means one material, one color. Unless, of course, you research and get a dual extrusion 3D printer, which will allow you to do two materials and two colors. Or you can learn and develop some hand painting and airbrushing skills so that you can take your finished 3D prints and paint them. Of course, between there, you still have to know how to sand them, how to finish them and polish them, and know how to hand paint or airbrush them to get them to look the way you want with as many colors as you can fit. Well, enter the Palette 2 and the Palette 2 Pro from Mosaic Manufacturing. The Palette 2 works by taking in four different filaments and splicing them together using a sharp knife and a splice core, which will heat up the filament and make it into one strand and extrude that out. This means that no matter your printer, you can upgrade it with multi-extrusion capabilities. Even more powerful than the Palette 2 is the Palette 2 Pro. The Palette 2 Pro has a machined aluminum splice core for optimal cooling and 20% faster splicing speeds, an extended warranty, two years versus one, and spare parts for the most wear-prone parts of the Palette 2 Pro. The Palette 2 Pro aims to make this process a lot more accessible with the companion software, Canvas. Canvas is a multi-purpose browser-based software. You can set up, calibrate, and tune your specific printer's performance with the Palette 2. There are some printers that already have profiles integrated in, so you can pick a good starting point and tune from there with some small calibration prints. You can also prepare models that weren't originally designed to be multi-extruded with a very paint-by-numbers workflow. Years ago, I was tasked with turning our mascot filet mint into a dual extrusion model. Now, I didn't have access to the original design software or the original designs, so I couldn't even use that as a basis. I had to use the STL and manually manipulate the mesh to turn it into multiple parts. This was incredibly tedious and was full of trial and error just trying to get close, and I still have to go back to it every so often to fix some old error left behind. With Canvas, all I have to do now is import my 3D model, select it, and click the Paint Selected button at the bottom to start coloring it in. There's four tools you can choose from. Facet, Sphere, Fill, and Fix. Facet will allow you to individually change the color of specific triangles on the surface of the model. Sphere is a paintbrush you can grow or shrink the selection size. Fill will paint within the boundaries of generated regions, and Fix will look for triangles that look like you meant to make color one, but is currently colored two, and correct it. Canvas does a great job at creating smooth, blended surfaces where none of the glitches I previously described are created. Now, when I mention boundaries of generated regions, I'm referring to the option within Sphere and Fill. Here you can change the specific settings for how it generates different groupings of the faces of the 3D model, so you can paint by numbers. If you're using Sphere, the color won't spread past the current selection you are painting in, and with Fill, it will change all triangles within the boundary into your selected color. And while testing out this portion of Canvas, I felt that the best workflow to develop is to find the region settings that most closely encompass the features of your model, then go through and use the Fill tool to block out the bulk of the coloring. Once that's done, it's a lot easier to go back in with the Sphere tool and pick up the small sections and triangles and regions that didn't get separated out. When you're happy with the coloring, simply click Save and Return, and you'll be brought back to the print bed so you can set slice settings, slice, and export for printing. To redo fill here took no more than an hour, and now that I know my way around the software, it should be even easier to go through with any 3D model I already have to prep it for palette printing. Now all I have to do is make sure my settings are right, slice up this fill, or print multiple at once to minimize the proportion of waste in the purge block, and I'm good to go. Canvas is a smart and powerful tool that allows you to bring your multicolored printing ideas to life, and it brings up the fullest capabilities of the Palette 2 Pro and the Palette 2. And it's completely free, you can go try it out today. So I hope this how-to has encouraged you to try out some multicolor 3D printing and working on your capabilities, and encourages you to check out the Palette 2 Pro. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Hey there! Thanks for watching this how-to on Mosaic Canvas and the Palette 2 Pro. I hope that this video has got you excited about being able to print with four materials or colors all in the same print. If you enjoy videos like these, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and check out some more videos on the channel or you can read some in-depth articles on matterhackers.com. See you on the next one.